Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and every year we get a new version of iOS and always wonder what devices will remain supported. This year is no different with iOS 18 and iPadOS 18. We're expecting some support and we have some information about that that seems to be from a very reliable source. Now we don't officially know as we haven't heard from Apple yet, that will happen around WWDC when Apple announces the first iOS 18 beta one version. However, we do have a very reliable source that mentioned what devices are going to be supported. Now we'll talk about support for iPhone, iPad, and also some iOS 18 features we expect. First of all, Mac Rumors ran a story yesterday, thanks to Aaron P613, who noticed from a very reliable leaker that usually will leak iOS build numbers before the update is even out. Based off of their reliable information, it seems that iOS 18 will actually support all of the same devices that iOS 17 supports. That means an iPhone SE second generation, iPhone SE third generation, iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone XR, as well as all the iPhone 11s, iPhone 11 Pro that we have here, all the way up to the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. Of course, when the iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Plus, iPhone 16 Pro, and iPhone 16 Pro Max are released, that will be supported as well, but it looks like they're going to continue support over all of that time. Now that doesn't mean we'll get all of the features on the older devices, but at least we'll get some of the features, the bug fixes and security updates, and then all of the major features typically released to all the devices with the exception of a few that will just be on the latest devices. Of course, once we know that I'll make separate videos covering that as well. When it comes to the iPad, well, we're going to lose support, at least for a few of them. It looks like any iPad that's equipped with the A10 Fusion processor, the 6th and 7th generation iPads, will lose support for iPadOS 18 according to this leak. However, that means that the iPad Pro 2018 and later will gain support, iPad Air 2019 and later, iPad Mini 2019 and later, and iPad 2020 and later will all have support for iPadOS 18. Again, not all of the features will necessarily carry across, but at least they'll have support. So it looks like we're going to have very good support this year for all of these devices. I'm a bit surprised as far as some of the other devices with iPhone XS, I thought for sure maybe they'd lose support and they'd just continue support to the iPhone 11s, but this is great news if the processor can handle it. So whatever the features are specifically, and I thought we'd go over a few of those. Now iOS 18 is said to be one of the most ambitious or largest updates since the initial iPhone release in 2007. That's according to Mark Gurman. It may not be as big as that or as big as iOS 7, but based off of that information, it could be a very major update. It's been a long time coming for that, and that could be a major redesign. However, he's also said that don't expect it to be Vision OS with round icons necessarily, but more of a Vision OS inspired update with more depth. That seems to make more sense where we would have more translucency, more depth, maybe an update to the control center, maybe changes throughout, just like we have with the action button on iPhone 15. This interface for the action button doesn't really match anything we currently have, so it makes sense that we would have some sort of redo where we have some changes to the UI as a whole. Personally, I'd like to see the settings redone and also we could expect some AI features. Apple has been hiring different people to work on AI and also buying a lot of AI companies and probably will include generative AI, whether that has to do with email, Safari, or maybe just Siri in general, where it's a bit smarter and can understand with more context as to what we're talking about in different languages. So all of those things are expected, but what they mean to do in general, we don't really know. We don't know of any features specifically, whether it will include split view, any new control center. We just know it's an ambitious update at this point. As we get closer to the release of iOS 18 beta one, which is typically in June at WWDC, usually we can expect that to be around the first week of June. It could be the second week, but usually it's around that time frame. We'll see what we get with iOS 18, what they include, and then we'll learn all about it at that point and what features are on which devices. But until then, we don't really know 100%. We can expect more leaks up until that point, but at this point, it just seems to be an ambitious update according to Mark Gurman, who has a very good track record with that. If these rumors are to be believed, it seems like this update will be very good for all the old devices and bring a lot of new features. So I'm really hopeful as far as that goes. Let me know what you think in the comments below and what features you would like to see most in iOS 18. I talked about that in a separate video, but many people want split view, 
a control center redesign, or just better battery life in general. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.